It's Monday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Corinne McAfee, and this is your KWHS News. First, here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The first college visit of May comes from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. They'll be here on the 3rd to share their school's information. Seniors, with graduation around the corner, we know how eager you are to get out of this place. So be sure to take care of any conditions and fees this week or early in May. If you wait till the last minute, and some of you will, trust us, the line will be long. If you take care of this early, it's one more thing you can check off your LPR processing list to get out the door faster. Remember to return your library materials by this Thursday and see Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to clear your conditions and fees. Underclassmen, we also want to get a head start on clearing conditions and fees before the end of the year so we can get our grades on time. The last day to check out library materials is this Thursday and the deadline to return them is May 10th. See Ms. Grandizio to get your conditions and fees paid early so you too can avoid the long line and get your summer started after your last exam. Senior Council would like to invite all the seniors to attend the Senior Sunrise Service tomorrow morning at 6.30. Meet at CA Foster Stadium to celebrate the fact that you are one sunrise closer to graduation. Dress warmly. It's going to be cold, but you can enjoy some hot cocoa and donuts for a small fee to cut the chill. And now let's check in with Miss Betsy to hear what's cooking for today and tomorrow for lunch. Hi everybody, I have my friend Andrew here with me and he's gonna let us know what's for lunch today and tomorrow. Hi, I'm Andrew with Value Teachers and today we are having super nachos. Tomorrow, we're having chicken noodle soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. Make it a great day. Yeah, we well, hope, hope to see you then. And also, don't forget, lunch charges, you need to get them paid. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, if you owe money in the cafeteria, you will want to clear this too before graduation or final exams. Don't wait until the last minute. You can always add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Bessie directly. Speaking of food, the freshman class is hosting a fundraiser at Panda Express at the Highway 8587 location today from 4 to 8 p.m. Snag a flyer from a freshman council member or Miss Hines in the math department. Then bring it with you to Panda and a portion of your bill will go to the freshman council. The Red Cross Club is hosting a hat day tomorrow. Wristbands will be available today at lunch and yes. tomorrow morning before school for only $1. And now here's another senior spotlight. I am going to college in Topeka, Kansas to Washburn University. I am planning to study uh, finance, international business, and hoping to minor in German and Spanish. My plans after I get my undergrad are to go to law school, and then after I finish law school, plan to go into corporate law. And, uh, my favorite teacher has been Frau Richards, the German teacher, because I have had her all four years and we've just had no time to bond. My favorite high school memory was going to Germany with Frau Richards. My one piece of advice for future seniors is pay attention to deadlines. Make sure you're submitting your college applications, scholarship applications, uh, transferring your grades, whatever, on time. That way you're not stressing out second semester and you can relax a little bit. Thanks for introducing us to another great gladiator who is going places. When we come back, we'll have information for other events happening next week. But first, here's Jeremiah Jones with our gladiator sports update. It's Wednesday and Friday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. With all the local dodgeball events we had happening last week, we overlooked a very special dodgeball game that happened over the weekend at Coronado High School. Dylan Hamm, Chris Ibarra, Brennan Heights, and Matt Price put together a dodgeball team that played in the second annual Youth Advisory Council Dodgeball Tournament last Saturday. This year's tournament was a fundraiser to support teens with promise. Although the team did not place, they had a blast play. Hey ladies, volleyball 
Open Gym happens every Wednesday in Bowers Gym from 3.15 to 4.15 until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Cheer tryouts started yesterday and conclude tomorrow in the small gym from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Pick up a tryout packet in the front office. Auditions for Fall Color Guard will start next week on Monday, April 30th and go through May 3rd in Bowers Gym. Please note the times are different for Wednesday and also for finals on Thursday. These tryouts are open to ladies and gentlemen in all grade levels. Wear workout type clothes and come learn something new. No experience is necessary. For more information, contact Coach Laswell at this email address. Mother Nature is having her way with our spring sports, especially Ultimate Frisbee. Their tournament over the weekend was canceled because of our wacky weather, so stay tuned to hear about their rescheduled games. Our ladies tennis team has also been plagued by Mother Nature's roller coaster weather events. Congratulations to Faith Bauer, nominated as one of this week's Extra Sports Athlete of the Week. Faith plays tennis for WHS and she needs our votes. Go to this website and cast your votes for Faith. Our boys swim and dive team can continues to show great progress. At their meet on Monday against Palmer, despite their loss, the team was able to clock 13 personal records. The boys are in the pool this Friday and Saturday at the Fountain Fort Carson Invitational at Fort Carson. In Diamond News, the boys are not getting the day off like the rest of us on Friday because they'll be working those bats against the Sierra Stallions at 4 p.m. on Big Blue. Grab your peanuts and Cracker Jacks and bring yourself to the ballgame. In track and field news, our fastest gladiators are also working on April Day as they head to the Coronado Invite on Friday at 9 a.m. If you can spare some time to come out and cheer them on, they would appreciate your support. Our ladies soccer team had a last minute game on Monday against Falcon that had to be rescheduled multiple times. The ladies held their own but lost 2-0. Our ladies play Harrison this Thursday at 5 p.m. at CA Foster. Come help them get their momentum back. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Moose and Corinne. Thanks, Jeremiah. Glads. If you're struggling with the class, paper, or have a big test coming up, you should check out the Thursday tutoring sessions brought to you by NHS. Stop by the library to pick up your pass on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. Computers will be available for you. FCCLA is hosting a guest speaker who will be talking about careers in psychology tomorrow during advisory. If you are interested in attending, see Mrs. Tucci or Miss Ship for a pass so you can join tomorrow's conversation. Also, tomorrow is the WSD3 A Day Without Hate and initiative observance. We are being asked to exhibit positive and kind behaviors which demonstrate our intolerance of hate and violence and to wear white to show our support of the initiative. Thanks to all those classes that entered. The advisory class with the winning post is... If you want to check out some very cool artwork by our WHS and Mesa peers, stop by the UMB Bank on Security Boulevard to see the High School Artist Showcase. The official opening reception is next week on May 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. But you can drop by the bank anytime during business hours to see the outstanding artwork our peers have created. The show will be on display until Friday, May 4th. Seniors, listen up. The yearbook staff has a great deal for you. If you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's book plus one other book from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. It's a pretty sweet deal and you should totally jump on it now. See the business office to make your purchase. Students, if you drop the ball on one of your courses this semester, you can still make up credits to get back on track. Register by May 31st to begin your credit recovery classes on June 4th. You can take up to two classes for $100 each. See your counselor for details and go online to register. Finally, our choir students will be showcasing their talents at Cabaret Night tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Why not kick off your three-day weekend with some great music sung by some talented students? We hear little Jimmy Myers and Lauren Wadsworth will be handling master and mistress of ceremony duties. So that alone should be worth the price of admission. Cost is $5 for adults and $3 for students. That's all for our news today. I'm Moose Santos. Remember, Friday is April Day, so we have a three-day weekend. And I'm Corinne McAfee, and this was your KWHS News. We'll be back next Wednesday after the weekend. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, y'all.